Are you looking for the best MIG welders? In this video, we will look at some of the 7 best welders on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. 40 Easy Weld 261, 140 FCI Welder, 120V. Trying to select a single best MIG welder is an almost impossible task. Users have different needs, and many different types are available. We chose the Forney Easy Weld 261 because it's a great all-around welding tool. It's uncomplicated and extremely light at just 19 pounds, and it offers the kind of performance that appeals to both home welders and professionals. The Forney runs off ordinary power. It uses flux core wire, so users only have to select the voltage, which varies widely, and choose the wire feed speed. While the latter offers 10 steps, the manufacturer doesn't provide the actual figures. For more experienced welders, even the top speed may be a little slow. Speed doesn't impact weld strength, but it does affect productivity. The welds made with the Forney may not be as neat as those made with a gas MIG, and it can't tackle stainless steel or aluminum. Nevertheless, for those who regularly weld mild steel indoors or out, the Forney Easy Weld 261 is competitive. At Number 2. Super Deal Pro Commercial MIG 130AC Flux Core Wire. There's a lot to like about the Super Deal Pro MIG welder. This gasless machine plugs into a 110V household supply, is relatively portable at 38 pounds, and can weld up to 3 16 inch steel. A roll of flux core wire and a basic mask come with the welder. This is a low-cost MIG welder, so expect some limitations. With only four voltage settings marked max min or one half, determining the correct output requires trial and error. The wire feed has 10 positions, but no speed indication. The body of the machine is PVC, so although it works outside, it isn't built for tough environments. The Super Deal Pro is not a difficult MIG welder to use, but its instructions may be inadequate for beginners. It probably best suits those with some experience who want a budget tool for quick and dirty repair jobs. At Number 3. Hobart 500553 Handler 210 MVP MIG Welder, Small. As noted previously, Hobart welding equipment has a reputation for quality products, and the Handler 210 adds flexibility. It can run off 110V or 220V current, and it can be used with gas or without. These features, along with its ability to weld 3 8 inch steel and 3 16 inch aluminum make it a good choice for both workshop and job site use. A 7-step voltage dial and 40 to 770 IPM wire feed speed provide good control. The Hobart Handler 210 provides stable power with reduced spatter, resulting in smoother welds. At 79 pounds, the Hobart Handler 210 is quite heavy. It's one of the more expensive models we considered, but for serious welders, the capabilities and durability may make it worth the investment. At Number 4. Weld Pro 200 Amp Inverter Multi-Process Welder. MIG welders are all-around machines, but TIG welding is better for high-precision work and visible welds. Stick is a gasless form, not unlike flux core, and it's particularly good for heavy-duty steel and iron welding, especially outdoors. This versatile weld pro combines these three welding processes in one portable machine. The MIG option offers both gas and flux core. It can run on 110V, but it produces full power at 220V, which can be provided by a generator or a dedicated socket. It weighs a fraction over 30 pounds, so it's quite easy to move. In MIG mode, its maximum thickness is a quarter inch, with a variable wire feed between 78 and 550 IPM. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the Weld Pro 200 is not a budget machine, however, it's competitively priced for a welder with extensive capabilities. At Number 5. Yes Welder MIG 250 Pro Aluminum MIG Welder, 250 Amp Welding Aluminum is challenging, because although the metal is comparatively soft, it absorbs heat quickly, which means it's difficult to keep hot. The powerful Yes Welder MIG 250 Pro provides an effective solution. It offers both gas and flux core modes, and it can weld an impressive half an inch of mild steel. While the manufacturer doesn't supply an exact figure for aluminum, it's likely around 3 8 inch. Moreover, the 60% duty cycle at full power is outstanding. 
However, this model requires a 220V supply, though it uses inverter technology to keep energy consumption as low as possible. The Yeswelder MiG-250 Pro also offers TIG and stick capability, though the TIG torch is extra. Its wire feed speed is between 79 and 590 IPM. It weighs 34 pounds. At number 6. Lotus MiG-175 175 Amp MiG Welder with Free Spool Gun. The Lotus MiG-175 offers competitive performance at an excellent value. It can produce neat welds up to a quarter inch in steel or stainless and 3 16 inch in aluminum. The latter is possible thanks to a dedicated spool gun. Often an extra, the spool gun is included in the kit, as are a gas regulator, mask, chipping hammer, wire brush, and a roll of MiG wire. The Lotus MiG-175 is easy to set up and use, and it might challenge for the title of best MiG welder for amateurs were it not for its 220V supply requirement. At 85 pounds, it's also heavy. It has sufficient capabilities for some professionals, offers proven durability, and is a good value. However, the 20% duty cycle might be a bit limiting. At number 7. Vivahome MiG Welder 130 Flux Core Wire Automatic Feed. The Vivahome may not be the most versatile MiG welder, but its low cost and simplicity may make it an appealing option for those who would rather buy a tool for occasional use than pay a contractor. This is a flux core MiG, giving it the ability to weld outdoors, and it runs on a standard 110V supply. Its controls are basic but straightforward. Its maximum weld thickness is 3 16 inch in steel, but it cannot weld aluminum. At only 36 pounds, the Vivahome MiG-130 is portable, and of course, it doesn't need a gas bottle. While we have some doubts about its long-term durability, owner feedback is largely positive.